working for you. 13 News starts now with breaking news. Good afternoon, I'm Jack Kane. Two pilots are dead after their cargo plane careened off the runway at Jaeger Airport this morning. Chelsea Spears has been at the scene of the tragedy all morning. She joins us now with a live update. Chelsea? Jack, we just got an update from airport officials. They tell us Jaeger Airport is going to remain closed through at least tomorrow morning. Now, that is because the National Transportation Safety Board is still trying to piece together what happened here on runway five right around seven this morning. Now, right now, you can notice there's still a wing of this plane lying on the side here of the runway. Here's what we do know. Right around seven this morning, that air cargo carrier came in sideways and it came in hot. We're told by airport officials the plane landed awkwardly on its side, hitting the runway early, then shearing off that wing we just showed you. The, the plane then rolled off the runway onto a hillside into a very thickly wooded area. We're told that actually posed a lot of problems for crews as they were trying to reach these victims. They were repelling, using ATVs, doing anything they possibly could to reach the victims on that short 330 turbo. It's a tragedy, but I want to commend the first responders, the program. We declared a state of emergency at about one minute after the airplane crashed. Uh, there was an amazing response from the city of Charleston, Kanawha County, uh, the Air Guard, the Army Guard. Uh, the plan worked very well. Unfortunately, this was a terrible crash. <laughs> We're still waiting on the NTSB to get out here and start investigating this scene to try and determine what caused this crash. As for now, airport officials tell us they don't believe the weather was a factor. They don't believe the runway was a factor either. But uh, at this point, they're still trying to work to determine whether this was a mechanical issue of some sorts or even something else. So we're going to be diving into that a little later on 13 News at noon. But for now, reporting live, I'm Chelsea Spears working for you. Chelsea, thank you. Brian Hughes joins us now with more of the details surrounding this tragic crash uh, this morning. Brian? Well, the uh, plane was uh, was uh, chartered or was working for UPS. It's, it's part of air cargo carriers based out of Milwaukee. Let's show you what uh, what the flight path was. This is from flightaware.com. This is a, an air monitoring service. They monitor uh, all the flight paths of airplanes around the country and around the world. They took off from Louisville this morning uh, just around 545 made the trek to near Lexington and then went from I-64 just south of I-64 essentially followed that path into the Charleston area. There have been some reports that the plane was not making the right types of sounds and that's from people who had who watched that plane actually coming in for a landing. This is the type of plane that you see. It's a Pratt and Whitney uh, air the uh, engines on this twin turboprop and the uh, the actual uh, airplane was built in 19 and it was certified once again for airworthiness back in 2003. Now, this is the area of, of where the plane landed. It essentially landed within the zone that you need to touch down, but it came in hot and it came in pretty hard because there are divots in the runway. It then made a, essentially, it rolled to the right, took the right wing off, and then went off the runway to the left as it approached run on runway five. So, Jack, as it came in, it came in landing across. It came in for flight across downtown Charleston and then went for runway five there. Didn't even make it to the intersection of the two runways. The last person to be killed at Jaeger Airport was uh, Brenda Gillen, a friend of mine who was a, a, a private pilot. She taught and that was a that was actually a, a mechanical error in the plane when that uh, plane crashed last at Jaeger Airport last year. Now with these two deaths, uh, NTSB will be investigating, but the process for this investigation will take anywhere from uh, the initial report could be about three months from now and the final report might be a year from now before we find out all the details on what happened.